So for today, we're going to be covering the Warlocks for Arc 3.0 fashion. If you guys haven't seen the Titan or the Hunter, I'll have both of them up right now because I really do like those videos. They're doing really well. Thank God. I, I appreciate y'all for looking at those videos. Like, comment, subscribing. It really does help uh, because might as well take this out of the way a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor subscribe really it does help it is free and if you don't like me in the future you can always unsubscribe or just tell me i'm a douchebag either way i'm all for it uh, again we're gonna be doing the warlock stuff so from the head and below so the first uh set we're gonna be looking at is the crown of tempest stuff so again we're gonna be looking at the shaders the ornaments what i used for an example set and my tips and whatnot so again if you guys like, like the video let me know and let's just get into it so warlocks first and foremost we're gonna be doing crown of tempest like i said i really like crown crown is probably one of my more favorite exotics for warlocks specifically because it's a lot of fun it synergizes really well with the subclass and it really just embodies you just throwing grenades melees your super everything so Crown of Tempest, the only thing that is pretty much a negative in my book for Crown of Tempest fashion wise is the fact that the gem on the helmet, basically like the the visor and even some of the crown like spikes actually won't change color for the default look. So just be aware of that it is a little annoying to shader with because again, the only thing that will will actually shader is specifically like the the band on the crown the cloth and i think the earrings as well as you guys can see from the shaders that i'm showing you guys so just be aware that the like galaxy gems will not change color at least for this look as for the example set i actually really like what i came up with be be to be fair though i would actually switch a sh the shader out because first frost all the way really good shader does not really meld well with the gem that is on the crown of tempest for the arms we're using the Ar arms of optimacy it's one of my favorite arms if i want to go for like a uh like a royal almost like a bougie look for the chest piece same thing nemean robes really good look for that for the boots uh boots of the great hunt is also a really good choice although if you want to have something a little bit ornamental that would probably work better with nemean robes because at least one side of the boots you'll actually be able to see from the thigh below. So just be aware of that. For the bond, we're using this fetish bond because again, I wanna go ornamental, almost like too bougie because the thing is literally called Crown of Tempest. It's a crown, so might as well just lean into it. Uh, for the shaders, I probably would lean into the blue a little bit more of the gem. Uh, other than that, I think a lot of this is really cool. And if you have other gem pieces like in the future for example if we get more pieces that have gems on it i think that would be a better choice although it would be hard if the gems uh didn't change color if they were like fixed color then that would be pretty hard to actually work around so warlocks let me know i'm gonna be going super fast with these because warlocks you guys got four four exotics but a lot of them have ornaments so it's going to be a little bit more thicker than the Titans, but not as thick as the Hunter videos. So again, for the first ornament we're going to be looking at is the Crown Jewels. This one is my favorite look for Crown of Tempest, but it also does share the same flaws as the base look of it, which means that shadering it is going to be kind of annoying. You're going to want to lean into really bright colors because as you guys can see from like Abyssinian gold, it, it looks good with it. It's just that everything is so dark compared to the crystal, which is just white, uh, which is really unfortunate. Although you could probably pair it with like Sato Tribe and Sato Tribe makes it look really cool because Sato Tribe does have white in it. But just be aware that this is actual crystal. Uh, the other thing is the fact that the base look of Crown of Tempest is a little bit bigger than the ornament of it. So Crown of Jewels specifically, Crown of Jewels actually makes the helmet a lot smaller. So be aware of that. The other thing is the front of the visor is actually shaderable, which is a really big plus in my book, but you probably should have already noticed that because I'm showing you shaders. I like that it's shaderable, but I also don't like it because it it's weird. Like it, I don't know. Personally, I think it's weird because the crystals are just one color and then in the front you have this like visor that's like actually a different color but it does look cool so most of the time i really don't mind it for the example set i actually leaned into the crystal like the whiteness of it which is why i'm using xeno silver definitely one of my favorite shaders that i've been using now uh, ever since i think the titan armor set if i remember correctly 
Uh, for the helmet, obviously, crown jewels we're using, but for the arms, we're using Solstice Gloves Magnificent, specifically because I wanted a little bit more glow on the arms, but I didn't want it to be super intrusive. For the robes, we're using the Robes of Optimacy specifically because I like to pair the crown jewels with the Robes of Optimacy. I think it looks very bougie. For the boots, we're using the Solstice Boots Resplendent with the glow on because I like the glow that it shows. And then for the bond, we're using the Intrepid Inquiry bond because I want a little bit of glow, but not too much that it's like obnoxious. And I feel like I have a really good blend of there's glow, but it's not really in your face. It's more like complimentary. So there's a few pieces you could actually switch out. You can switch out the arms and the boots for some other stuff. If you want to go a little bit more ornamental, you can sneak in some of the Nemean stuff, specifically the boots, I think are going to be a little bit better for it because the arms are actually asymmetrical. But you could also pair like uh, the last wish armor sets with this as well. And it'll look really good for the next ornament. Uh, this one has four, like, what is it? Four? No, three. It has three ornaments. So this is going to be a, lot, a little bit for the second ornament. It's Diadem of Deceit. This one is a really cool ornament, in my opinion. If you want to lean into the hive theme, then you're going to want to have this ornament with it because obviously this looks very hive theme. The only negative I can really tell you about this uh, ornament is the fact that there is a piece that is unshaderable and is actually the glow on the crown. The crown glow does not change color. It's always going to be orange. So even with like a color like Sato Tribe, it's going to be orange. You're still going to notice the orange tint. So if you want, you can lean into the shade, into that glow specifically. Like I know, for example, uh, Abyssinian Gold would be really good because the glow is actually that orange. So you could do that. My only gripe is Abyssinian Gold has like a really brown tint to armor plates sometimes. So I probably would stay away from that. But there is other shaders that you could actually combine with that. For the example set, I decided to go in with a few other shaders because I wanted to get this just right. So for the helmet, obviously Diadem of Deceit, that's what we're using with First Frost on it. For the arms, we're using the Apilos Following Gloves, specifically because I like the organic look of them combined with the organic helmet. For the chest piece, I'm using the Scorn Baron robes specifically because it has cloth on the neck, like specifically a scarf. And the reason I wanted that is because if you use something else, like for example, if you use that Pylos following uh, robes, the helmet looks a little too big, kind of goofy looking on it because there is nothing on the neck. It's just like, it's just your neck there. So I think it looks a little goofy, which is why I went with the scorned uh, Baron robes because the cloth really helps bulk out the, the whole body to make it seem like I don't look like a big headed like person. Personally, that's how I see it. For the boots, we're using the Corrupting Echo boots specifically because why it's organic. Why would I not? There's other pieces you can definitely use. You can use like sp uh, specific pieces that have like cloth so that way it can meld with the Scorn Baron robes. But I wanted a lot of organic pieces to this set, which the bond, I'm actually using the Nerwin's Iron Bond. This is from uh, Warmind. It's an ornament for Iron Banner. And the reason I'm using it is because com combined with Night Chill, it almost looks organic, like almost like it melds well with pretty much everything else. So for this one, there's actually a few pieces you could actually like switch out for the arms. You could use the the season pass armor from the season of the lost. They're basically just uh, straps or not even straps, like cloth bandages and whatnot. So it would look really cool. I've done that look before. I can't remember off the top of my head. If I have a picture up right now, then that's the video. If not, I could not find it. And then for the boots, again, season of the splicer, either the season pass armor or the activity armor has cloth on both. And those would look really good with it. So this is one of my favorite sets, which I'm probably just going to stick with this look for the arc 3.0, but we'll see. I will actually make a video. I think, uh, after this one, because today's Sunday, I will probably put this video out on Monday and then the, the art, what I'm using for arc 3.0 video, I'll probably do Monday as well. And then we'll start getting, we'll start getting into the, the exotics that everyone's been asking for. For the last ornament, again, yeah, this has, th <laughs> has three ornaments. This one is Sovereign Signal. This is from Season of the Splicer. Unfortunately, I don't have this one. I 
talked myself out of out of getting this one back in season of the splicer because i was like i'm never going to use this and this exotic already has two ornaments so i might as well not get this because i'm strapped for bright dust la 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 i regret it heavily and i might buy it later in the future but for now it is what it is for how it shaders it actually shaders pretty dope there is from what i noticed nothing that does not shader everything shaders perfectly uh ankle and anger has a really good red although the the like white is kind of like an off off white to me and i'm i don't know if i like that or not the abyssinian gold has has the brown plate which i'm not a big fan of that but the it looks really cool nonetheless and for sato tribe i really like it it's like really really good i have pr pretty much no complaints about it uh other than that i don't fucking have this uh, ornament that's what really pisses me off i think the best pieces to combine this with would probably be uh the best pieces to combine this would obviously be stuff from season of the splicer considering season of the splicer we had a lot of uh mechanical stuff which for the example set i ended up going with only one piece from season of the splicer which is the inter interlaced gloves i use this a lot for my mechanical electronical cyborg insert something like that here i usually will use that because it's the best choice for it honestly you have an arm that's literal wiring why would i not use that for the chest piece we're using the siege breaker jacket because it's the best one i i found that not only shows your legs but also this, it still looks like something like a mechanical warrior would use uh, specifically if you like uh, when you see my character's bag you see a lot of stuff there and again i wanted to show my legs because we're using the legacy oath boots because electrical there's wiring in the thighs it just makes sense i really hope i don't have to explain this and then for the thorium holt bond it's kind of also so like i don't have to say anything it has wiring and whatnot on it so for this one i really leaned into like electronical look but if you want to know my honest opinion the interlaced chest piece is probably what i would use on top of the interlaced gloves i feel like those two just need to be paired together because they fit really well together but if you don't want to use more than one or two pieces in the same set i completely understand that this which is why i use the set that i use again if i actually fucking own this i actually would just do the interlaced gloves the interlaced jacket and then the loath a legacy oath boots and then probably another bond and maybe another shader but this is the best that i can do with because i made this like in 10 minutes so so yeah let me know what you guys think as for the next exotic we're going to be looking at getaway artist this one is interesting because there is one set that i actually think looks really fucking cool and I definitely was thinking about maining this for a little bit because I do think it looks really cool, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, for the base look of it, it's it's pretty fine. The only thing that's kind of annoying that some people act, might actually get mad at is that it's asymmetrical. One side is asymmetrical. I wish I could show you even better than what I can do now, but unfortunately the gloves for pretty much every class doesn't show that well. And for Warlock, it's even worse. So you guys will just have to see the example set. Uh, as for how it shaders, it shaders pretty well. The only thing that kind of annoys me is that there is like an orange, almost red on the, the gloves themselves. That actually does not change color. Also, the other thing is just, it's honestly just the fact that it's asymmetrical and the red does not change color is really the two things that really bug me about this ornament. Not only that, I think the other two ornaments are a lot better. They just look super, super cool and yeah, yeah, that's pretty much all the complaining I can do about this. As for how it shaders, I think the only biggest pet peeve I have is the fact that there is unshaderable pieces on the arms themselves. If you guys see, you guys will see like this orange dye on the arms, like lines. Those actually do not change colors. So that is really annoying because on certain shaders, it actually uh, shows up a lot more, becomes red. And on other shaders, it's barely noticeable. So if you don't want to have that orange there, you're going to have to find it either an orange that covers that up or a shader that you can't even see it, but you, you'll still see hints of it, unfortunately. As for the first example set, I wanted to lean into the asymmetry. And for that, we're using the Intrepid Inquiry robes. So the reason I'm using these robes specifically is because if you actually use these or own these, you, you'll know that the arms for this is asymmetrical one side has like armor and the other side is like a rolled up sleeve which again if you know then you know 
but that's why I'm using using it with this set. For the helmet, we're using that whatever that says, Triumph. This is from I want to say Warmind, the Eververse armor from Warmind. And for the boots, we're using the Wrath Trail boots, and for the bond, we're using the Coronation bond. So for my thought process, I wanted to go with a archaeologist slash scientist meets. Uh, I don't know space like the helmet specifically the helmet also really gives off steampunk vibes Which is why I used it because when you see it as a whole I think it really does make sense and I think the arms really are helpful when you do see it in that way where the intrepid inquiry arms are asymmetrical Then you can actually appreciate it a little bit more at least that's how I view it But again, I would love to you know your thoughts in the comments below the first ornament that this exotic has is Aaron Swagger. It's one of my favorite looks for this exotic, specifically because it's symmetrical and because it looks really bougie. The only unfortunate part is that it the white on the forearms actually is not shaderable. But personally, if it's white, I feel like white is so much easier to like really ignore than, for example, red, yellow, any other color to be quite honest, or black. Black and white are really interchangeable and I can really not care about it. But if you give me another color, then that's where I kind of get annoyed. But just be aware that the white does not change color. As for, I, uh, as, for how it, as for how it actually shaders, it shaders really well personally. I really, really like it. The glow on the actual arm also changes color, specifically on the wrist. Those like metal pieces do change color, so that is really cool. And how it actually shaders is also really cool, personally. I really, really like this set. As for how it shaders, I really like it. The only thing that is a negative is, again, the fact that the white stripes actually don't change color. But on the wrist, you can actually see pink wiring. That actually doesn't change color as well, but that is such a minor thing for me that most of the time you won't even notice it. But just be aware, some people might tell me, there's a piece that is another piece. You know, just be aware that it is unshaderable. Uh, again, I think it shaders pretty well for how it looks. The white will trigger some people, but white is so much easier to work with that I it's an, it's a non-concern for myself. As for the example set, I leaned into this so hard. So for the helmet, we're using the Nemean Hood, which is one of my favorite helmets in the game for Warlocks. For the chest piece, we're using the Empyrean Cartographer robes. Robes that I rarely, I've actually almost never used these, and I I'm starting to fall in love with them because I think like this set looks really good for the boots We're actually using the iron truage boots This is important because if you use the other boots then that I'll actually switch the gold So you'll actually instead of getting the green you'll actually get gold So be aware of that and for the bond we're using the apilos following bond So something real quick I live in Florida if you guys don't know and if you guys hear the thunderstorm in the background I do apologize, but Yeah, it's it's going down pretty hard, so I'm just going to keep going. If you hear thunder, I do apologize. But yeah, let's talk about this. For the helmet, we're using the Verdant Crown shader instead of the Verdant Chrome because the Verdant Crown actually gives the gold hue. If you use Verdant Chrome, it actually gives off the green tinge, and I really wanted more gold in this look. And Verdant Crown is the only one that I actually like that has gold and green on it, although at this point, you might as well use any other gold because it really doesn't matter because the green on the Nemean hood is so like unnoticeable that you won't notice it. Duh. Uh, for everything else, we're using Verdant Chrome because I really like the green and gold. I thought I was looking for other gold colors, but I was kind of bored of the golds that I would usually use. And when I saw Verdant Chrome, I immediately fell in love. So this is not only one of my favorite looks that I made for the Warlocks, but this I really want to main personally. Now that I actually see this set, it is actually not asymmetrical, but I still think it looks good nonetheless. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I apologize that you guys are hearing the thunderstorm, but I need to make this video by Monday, which is tomorrow. So that we're, this it is what it is. As for the last ornament we're going to be looking at is the Flight of the Interceptor. This is the Cabal themed armor and I think it looks really cool. It's just that unfortunately the Hunter or the, yeah, the Hunter and the Warlock are the only classes that don't have more Cabal themed armor because if you guys don't know, Season of the Hunt brought Cabal themed armor for the Titans and the Hunters got 
fallen themed armor and then the warlocks got hive themed armor so just be aware of that as for the shader situation i think it looks really cool i think i love how this takes shaders although i do wish that for Echo Anger specifically, these scales had priority for red instead of white. But that's such a small nitpick on my part. There's other shaders that you can choose for that. Uh, overall, I think Sato Tribe is probably my more favorite shader for this. But personally, I think Sato Tribe is just the best shader. For the example set, we're using the Pathfinder visor specifically because I like how the ears on the sides really look good with the psionic speaker robes, which also has plates on the back of it for the boots we're using the Bray Tech researcher boots because i like how they look with it as well and the bond of reciprocity because it looks kind of like a scale which is why i'm using it so i wanted to lean into cabal themed stuff for this one unfortunately again the only thing that we have that is cabal themed is the psionic speaker robes and the helmet and if you guys know me well enough you guys will know that i actually don't like using the same helmet with the same chest piece for the warlocks because at that point you're basically wearing the whole armor set personally and that's what i think so that's why i ended up using the pathfinder's visor but if you don't really care about what i just said then you can definitely use the psionic speaker robes with the psionic sp speaker helmet which that would be super dope and i i would suggest it honestly uh for the boots this one's probably a little bit more flex the reason i wanted to use the bray tech researcher boots is because i really like the knee pads i really really think that looks really good with this set the buckles also look really good but there's a lot of other uh, boots that you can use that would do the same job the bond of reciprocity is probably the best one for this because of the like the scale the spiky thing on it it just personally looks like a scale to me which is why i leaned into it but you could use other stuff like a hunk of metal would look good because that would that would easily be explained as cabal themed so this one is a little bit more cabal themed than than other pieces but the helmet actually does detract from that i do understand that but let me know what you guys think in the comments below for the shader i am using rose scale because i love how rose scale makes the cabal arms look more cabal uh, i think rose scale is just such a good shader for for cabal themed armor if i'm being quite honest so that's pretty much it for getaway artist i really like a lot of the looks that i made for this specifically for aaron swagger and the flight of interceptor i think both of both of those look really cool although i think the the aaron swagger just like looks so good to me so let me know what you're gonna which one is your favorite in the comments below but for the next ornament we're going to be looking at is storm bracers embrace this one is pretty interesting because it looks terrible <laughs> uh if i'm being quite honest i don't think it looks good at all it just it there's so many layers to this and i'm not even talking about the armor itself the armor is a layer as fuck but it's just so many layers of why i don't like it it it's the fact that the blue glow on the chest piece actually does not change color which for some people is annoying as hell it could be the fact that the robes just look messy uh a lot of designs on this there's so many things that's happening that it's visually cluttery which is another reason why i don't like it i really don't like pieces that are visual visually cluttery uh the spikes on the shoulders is also a weird thing i just don't understand it and if it wasn't for the ornament i would not even care about this exotic like that in the slightest i think the ornament saves it completely so uh, hopefully i showed you guys how it shaders but real quick uh echoed anger i think looks pretty cool with it although the glow situation might be a little annoying the abyssinian gold is even worse because the glow for abyssinian gold is actually orange so you it'll actually be super noticeable if you use a visor that has a glow on it and then for sato tribe i think that'll be the best one because the, the glow will actually be themed with sato tribe for the example set, I ended up going with something a little sloppy in my opinion, but each piece does have like a reason to be there. So for the helmet, we're going to be using the Wraith Trail hood specifically because of the spikes on the shoulders. I wanted to at least invoke some of that in there, which is why I'm using that for the arms we're using the siege break gloves, because I like the arm metal on the almost on the elbow and then the actual right arm has a glow on it which again i'm gonna go in with the glow a little bit 
For the boots, we're using the Imperium Cartographer boots because honestly, it really doesn't matter what you use, but you definitely want to lean into something that is a little bit more bulky than other pieces because if you use, if you use something small, it's going to look kind of look cartoony. For the bond, we're going to be using the Liminal Voyager bond because of the glow. That's really it. So I don't have much too much to say about this one because personally I kind of hate it. It just it looks it's visually cluttery and that's like the best that's the best way to explain this exotic. Visually cluttery. There's just so much happening that it didn't even have to be like that. I think what they were doing with the shoulders is really cool if they're trying to go for like a like a lightning rod type thing. I think that would have been really cool. The packages of like chargers i guess th those would be if they were like handled a little bit better or like on the on the waists that would have been cool and i think just the robes in general like the design of it is just trash and i don't i don't mean like terrible trash i mean like trashy looking so let me know what you guys think do you guys like this exotic let me know in the comments below but the ornament induction ceremony easily fixes all of my issues with this exotic not only do you see a, like electricity going through all of your all of the armor which is super fucking metal by the way but it also just visually looks clean there's nothing there's there, it, it's so cool because there's just so much happening but visually it's not like my eyes are are getting like overloaded with information it's very simple but it looks metal as fuck so for the shader situation, it looks, it's good as well. It shaders really well. There's not a lot of pieces that don't change color. The only pieces that actually don't change color are the metal pieces in the chest piece and on the actual elbow. But those pieces actually make sense because obviously the electricity has to go through metal. And if you change those colors, then it's going to be kind of weird, which is why I'm okay with the chrome stain because it, it fits a purpose. It serves a purpose to show the electricity is going through metal so that's why i actually love it again the shading situation is really good whoever designed this armor set needs a raise because the person who designed the original storm Bra dancers embrace that one's terrible switch it out so as for the example set i leaned into one of my favorite looks which is the legacy oath cal i think this cal is so fucking cool the basically the like cyborg helmet look is so cool for the arms this is pretty cool i ended up leaning into the street, street scholar gloves specifically because i love that the, one of the arms was actually almost the same material as the chest piece and then the other side is completely just armored up which i was like this is fine even though personally you'd probably would want to pair this with an arm that's symmetrical because everything else is symmetrical i just like that the one of the arms is almost like the same material as the chest piece but that's really the only reason why i use it is i really loved that so probably the contender set would probably the, the contender arms would probably be a better choice although the t the contender gloves will cover up some of the chrome on the on the elbow so just be aware of that for the boots, we're using the psionic speaker boots because I like that it's not visually like too much. I think the, the like simplistic look of it fits the chest piece really well because the only thing that is on the legs is the, the knee pads. Other than that, it's I think it's fine. And then for the arms, we're using the Mihalova's tail, which the only reason I'm using this is because it gives off a very like... Uh, I don't want to say metallic, but kind of like uh, at least like the middle of of the bond reminds me of Iron Man's like uh, power supply, the chest thing. It kind of reminds me of that, and that's literally the only reason I used it. I'm I'm dumb that way. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this set? I really like this set. The again, the only thing I could see that people would be annoyed about is the Street Scholar gloves. I do think if you want to go for a symmetrical look, that would actually be a way better choice. It's just that for me, it, the simple fact that the that one of the arms looked like the material on the on the chest piece, it really just sold me, and I kind of ignored the other arm. So I do think if you go for a or if you go for a symmetrical look, it'll make the set look even better. And last but not least, we have Geomag stabilizers. This is a beloved exotic for a lot of people. It's a really good exotic. Look wise, it could be better, but it's not the worst. 
uh, the things you guys got to remember is this actually has a lot of glow. Uh, not as much as the ornament, but it does have glow still on front of the boots. It does have a glow on the side of the, the feet. It has glows and on the back of pretty much everything has glows, uh, specifically on top of, or up like at the, what is that? No, yeah, that's calves. The calves actually have a glow on each side. The back of the heel for the, for the feet has a glow and that's pretty much it actually. So. For how it actually shaders, I think it shaders really well. The only, I wouldn't say issue, it's just that these boots specifically, if you don't have a chest piece that covers at least the thighs, it's gonna look a little weird. I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. At least personally for me, I'm not a big fan of the look of it, but just be aware that the shader situation looks completely fine. The only thing that I don't know if it's unshaderable or not, or not is the white, on the sides, as you guys can see, echoed anger right now. The the white on the thighs, I think that is not shaderable because the Abyssinian Gold also has that color there, and Sato Tribe also does have that color there. So that might be the only piece that is unshaderable. But again, white is a lot easier to work around than, for example, yellow, green, red, literally any other color. For the example set, we are using an old look that I made from another video. If I find the video, I'll have it up right now. If I don't, I do apologize. But this is an old set, so that's why I'm using these street scholar gloves again. This one I think is a little bit better because the asymmetry actually works to, uh, with its favor because the chest piece is the inspector robes, which as you guys can see, one side is actually a little bit more bulky than the other, which is why I really like this set. For the helmet, we're using the, can in the candescent helmet because the fact that all of the helmet is just one bone color, I think is really, really good because it also weighs out the bone color at the bottom of the feet so i think symmetrically it looks really good because when the top of the head is bone color but the bottom of the body is also bone bone color so that's kind of like my thought process in that for the boots obviously we're using the geomags and then for the bond we're using the lichen bond specifically because i didn't want any bone color on the other side because we have so much of the bone color on one side i wanted to even it out that way as well so as you guys can see, my, my thought process goes into heavy thinking when I'm trying to do stuff like this, because again, I want it from top to bottom. I want symmetry, but from side to side, I also want some sort of symmetry. So let me know what you guys think. I definitely like this set and I was thinking about using it. Hopefully if, uh, if the super is really, really good, then I definitely will use this set. As for the ornament, we're gonna be looking at electromagnetic stabilizers. There's a few issues with this ornament, even though it's my favorite ornament, it still has a few issues. First and foremost, the red line from the waist all the way up to the calves, or all the way down to the calves, I should say, actually don't change color. That red is actually not shaderable. Same thing with the red on the boots, does not change color, just be aware of that. The, the gray, on the boots also does not change color. So that is another big annoyance I have with it. But if you're using specific chest pieces that cover up that, then it won't be that noticeable. But I, I gotta be real with you. It does piss me off a little. As for how it shaders, there, there's gonna be shaders that really don't bug you with it. For example, Echoed Anger looks really good with it. The red, you're gonna phase out of your head because it already has red in it. More red is not gonna bother you. Even with Abyssinian gold, you can like justify it because it has a red glow and it has a brown plating. I, it works it's in some people's head, but then we get up to like Sato tribe and then that's when it's like, why is red here? Why is, why is it here? Like there's no red in, in this shader at all. And I can understand why people wouldn't like this, this, uh, this ornament. As for the example set, I decided to lean not only into red, but into the electrical look. So for the helmet, we're using the Siege Break cover because I like the fact that it has a glow and it has, it looks very electronical. The arms we're using interlaced gloves, that's not a secret. For the chest piece, we're using the Deepstone Crypt chest piece, specifically Legacy Oath robes. I really like this chest piece when you combine it with pieces that actually look good. The reason I'm using it with the electromagnetic stabilizers is because the boots actually have a really cool design in the back of the, the thigh. And I wanted to show that off. And what better way to do that with a chest or with a chest piece that has no side like cloth at all. For the bond, we're using the Prefectus bond because I like 
the fact that it looks like a square like it has squares and then a dot in there it kind of looks like a, some electrical thing which is why i leaned into it so this is definitely a look that i was thinking about using with electrum or uh, with geomags because geomags actually might be used a lot next season hopefully hopefully the super is a little bit more buff because right now it's kind of doo-doo butter um, i shouldn't say doo-doo butter right now it's just kind of like mid so let me know what you guys think i know this was uh, a long video but should not have been long as long as the hunter because i think the hunter was a little bit longer uh, i will have the what i'm using for see our next season i also want to make a few videos because the destiny 2 community is like absolutely wilding right now like bitching about the weirdest stuff like right now they're in on twitter they're bitching about like leaks and spoilers and i'm just like bro like we have other things to bitch about other than people like leaking shit but whatever weird let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on social media links are in the description below i thank you all for coming up to this point and i'll see you guys later